Welcome back. Today we are making stuffed Italian sausage. Check it out. I got these sweet Italian sausages from Costco. There are 20 sausages in the package. I am taking half of them and I'm going to be frying them up, de-skinning them as you can see, and I'm gonna be tossing in some ground beef. So this is 10 sausages and three pounds of ground beef. I'm gonna be getting this all mixed up ground up, fried up, delicious. Now this is more than I need for this recipe, so I'll be utilizing it for other recipes. The next 10, we're going to be taking the skin off, as you can see. We're gonna be cutting these down the middle, not all the way through, just opening them up. We're gonna put our string cheese in. I got these string cheese from Walmart, they're low moisture. You can use any cheese you want. Seal them up real good. Place them in the, in this case, Pyrex baking dish. I wish my baking dish was larger, but this is what I had to work with. As you'll see, it is gonna be a tight fit. So we get all of our sausages and cheese married together, all happy-like. Get them in the pan. Make sure they fit nice and tight. It is a tight fit to get all 10 sausages in here. So we got eight, then we're gonna put this one, which is nine, and then 10 right here. Flatten it all down. We're gonna finish browning our burger and sausage. Once it's all done, drain that. Now we have pizza sauce here. This is great value from Walmart and Parmesan from Walmart. You can use whatever brands you have on hand. I'm gonna mix it up, make a nice thick paste. Gonna spread it out. Smooth it out. And if you're finding value in this video, please take a moment and check out my merch store in the link below. It supports the channel. We've got hoodies, we've got shirts, we have grocery bags, we have aprons, we have all that stuff. So if you want it, we've got it. Take a look, link in the description. Thanks so much, everybody. Now we're going to put on some of the mixture. You can decide how much you wanna put here. You could use onions, peppers, you can use whatever you have on hand, mushrooms. I would not eat it, but this is what I decided to use. I'm just gonna get it all spread nice and neat like that. More Parmesan cheese. You can use whatever you want. You could use any seasonings you want. This is just some Italian seasoning that I picked up from Kroger. And now we're gonna put on our mozzarella cheese. You could totally use fresh mozzarella if you wanted to here. This is just shredded stuff that I have on hand from Costco. We're gonna put it on a baking dish so it's so full I know it's gonna drip over the side so I'm trying to keep my oven from seeing that disaster. Put on some crushed red pepper. This is what it looks like as it's going into the oven. And we're gonna bake at 350 for about 45 minutes. We're gonna pull it out and we're gonna dig in. Put this on a plate, piping hot and delicious. Oh, I hope you try this and I hope you enjoy it as much as we did. I actually have some leftovers in the fridge right now. Enjoy. And again, thanks so much for all your support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.